So I went to Hobby Lobby in their scrapbook section and I grabbed three sheets of a heart pattern and three sheets of a striped pattern with some Valentine's Day colors. And I'm gonna lay it down on my mat here and just mark off at one inch. And then I'm just taking my ruler, connecting both marks on the left and right side and using my rotary cutter to cut my one inch strips. And I'm just going to keep them the width of the paper and I cut six strips of each pattern. So again, I'm just going to use my mat to mark off at one inch. And then I'm going to take a straight edge and line it up on the marks I made and use my rotary cutter to go across. Now, if you don't have a rotary cutter, you're just going to make a mark with your pen or pencil and then just cut on the line with your scissors. I'm then going to take some of this tacky glue and a small art brush. And I'm going to apply the glue onto the back side of one strip. And then I'm going to take a second strip and lay it on top. So now we have the pattern on both sides. And I did this for the striped and the heart patterns. So then after all my things were glued together, I had a total of six strips. I'm going to take the ends of the strips and fold it inward for them to meet in the center. And then I'm just going to bend them into the shape of a heart. So using my hot glue, I'm going to put some glue on the end, fold the ends in to meet at the center. So it gives me the top shape of my heart and then add a little bit of glue at the bottom to squeeze it together to give me the little point. And there we go. Now we just made a paper heart from some scrapbook paper. And I repeated the same thing with the black and white heart scrapbook paper. You're just going to fold the ends of the strip inward, meet them at the center, and then just pinch the bottom and glue it together. You can make as many hearts as you want. And next I'm going to take some of my wooden beads. These are white and a hole puncher. I'm going to put a hole in the center of the heart where the paper meets in the center and then a hole on each side of the heart and then I'm just going to take some jute and string it through. So I started with a wooden white bead. I strung the heart through and then put another white bead on the left side of the heart and then tied a knot. And then I'm going to measure about four inches from the white wooden bead. I'm going to hole punch my heart. So I have three holes, one in the center and one on each side of the heart. And I'm going to make a knot in my jew at about four inches from the bead. And I was making a double knot. And once I had the knot in place, I would string on one white bead, then string my heart through. And then string on another bead and tie my knot. And I basically repeated this until I had a garland that I was happy with the length. You can make this as long or as short as you'd like and you can use any color wooden beads. And there's also a lot of scrapbook paper to pick from. Now I got my hole puncher from the leather section of Hobby Lobby, but it works on other materials as well. And you're gonna wanna leave about eight inches on each side of the first heart and the last heart. And there we go. Now we have this really easy, inexpensive heart garland that you can hang inside your home. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chocolateoffancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.